Good morning, muchachos. So Alondra and I are getting ready to head out the door. I just have a few errands. Well, I have a bunch of places to go to, but it seems like, I guess, weird. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, I have errands to do this morning. We need to go to Costco. Yes, we're going to go to Starbucks. So we need to go to Costco. I literally just have to get three or four things from there. And then I need to go to Dollar Tree to get one thing. I only have one coffee filter left, so I like to buy our coffee filters at the Dollar Tree. I... I mean, it's a dollar, so I feel like that's the best place to get. Coffee filters, you get 150 for a dollar. If you know a better deal, let me know. But I feel like that's a good one. So I need to go there just to get that item. I'm not going to look at anything else. And then I need to go to Kroger to get queso fresco because we're doing bean tostadas tonight. And Iram forgot that at the grocery store yesterday. So not a big deal. I'm just going to go and get that. And then Alondra was practicing her letters today. She did, what letters did you do today? You did J, K, and L. She did three of the worksheets, J, K, and L. She did really, really, really good. Yeah, you did. And um, I ask her to, every time we go on to a new letter, I go back from the beginning. So starting at A, and I'm like, what letter is this? And we go through each page. And she said them all perfectly. She only got confused on one letter. And I was like, you know what, baby? I'm going to treat you to Starbucks. So, um, and technically, it's not a no spend um, because I have money on a gift card. So yeah, so actually, thank you Carissa, because she got me a sweet little birthday present to Starbucks, and I appreciate it. You wanna show your hair? So thank you girl. Alondra says thank you too, but anyways, yeah, as a little treat, I'm gonna let her get a hot chocolate. By the way, we don't give her coffee. She just gets hot chocolate at Starbucks, so if anyone's gonna freak out about us going to Starbucks. Anyways, moving on. I'm gonna show them right now. Alondra wants to show you her cute little hair. Look how cute you are. Two buns, yeah. So Alondra this morning said she wanted her hair in two buns. So like my ballerina. Oh, like a ballerina? You look cute. Like my ballerina I just dropped. Yeah, so Alondra drew a picture of a ballerina and she drew the ballerina with two buns and so she wanted her hair like that. And she said that's gonna be her new hairstyle now. Yeah? That's gonna be your hairstyle? Do it a long time. Okay, we're gonna do it lots of time, I promise. Alright, are you ready? You got your shoes on? Yeah. Are they on the right feet? Let's take a check, take a check. Yes, right feet. Go put on your jacket, please. And let's go. Oh, I love that sweater. It's so cute. It has a little bunny tail in the back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what? I need to quickly put my whites in the dryer. All right, now that that is done, we can get the show on the road. I think I have everything I need. Uh, oh, no. I need to put my coffee to go. That's what I need to do. And then we can go. Okay, first stop is Costco. We made it inside. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you love your little bun. So anyways, I'm gonna have laser focus. Only stick to what's on my list. I'm not gonna look left, I'm not gonna look right. I'm just gonna look straight, buy what we gotta buy, and get out of here. But I'm not gonna lie, they have a lot of cute new stuff, so part of me just really wants to look, but no, 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 no. We're getting what we need, we're getting out. Costco will not get me today. And it's on sale. Please begin scanning. Oh my God. All right, second stop, Dollar Tree. After you, here we go. This is all we're getting. Yes, got what we came for, just the coffee filters. I'm doing really good. I didn't buy extra at Costco either. Now I just have to get the queso fresco and get Alondra her Starbucks, and we're done. Last and final stop, and the best part is there's a Starbucks. Kill two birds with one stone. Ooh, there's your hot chocolate. And I couldn't help myself. I had to get a drink, but I got a tall, which is a small one. Cheers. <laughs> we are home from our errands, and yeah, it is currently 12.29, so it took us about two hours, which I guess isn't that bad, but like literally, it's just funny. Like, I went to Kroger for one item, got the queso fresco, Dollar Tree for one item, coffee filters, and then I only got technically three items at Costco. So it was nice though with the Starbucks being inside Kroger so I didn't have to like go to a Starbucks, you know? So anyways, at Costco I just got some lettuce, um, hearts of romaine, because Edom wants to start taking salads to work. I was gonna say to school, but no, to work. And I also need some lettuce for tonight for dinner. I also got, and this was on sale, you guys would have seen it, um, pomegranate juice. So it's called Palm Wonderful Antioxidant Superpower. So it's 100% pomegranate juice, it's 60 ounces, it's $6.99 right now, the sale at Costco, I don't know if it's all Costco's or just ours, ends on the 3rd, I believe, which I think is Sunday? Yeah, it's the 1st, so yeah, Sunday. Um, normally it's $9.99. So 
I've heard a lot about pomegranate juice like being a natural remedy. I don't know if that's the right word, but to help with TTC or trying to conceive. So they say you take eight ounces a day, you and your partner, and I have it written down too. Like I have it saved in my notes on my phone. So I was like, you know what? I am willing to try anything. They also said you could eat pineapple, like the core of the pineapple. Um, so I don't know. We'll see about that as well. But um, yeah, so you drink it from cycle day one to ovulation. So eight ounces a day from cycle day one to ovulation. So um, yeah, so anyways, I got two bottles of that because it was on sale. And when I told Edom that I was like, hey babe, what do you think about me getting pomegranate juice and me and you drinking it? And before I could even finish why I wanted to buy it, he's like, oh, I love pomegranate juice. Yeah, I was like, okay, perfect. And then I told him why I wanted it. And he was like, yeah, let's try anything. I don't care. So anyways, we're both gonna be drinking that. And then I got two things of creamer. This is our favorite creamer, as you guys know. So this is never on sale, by the way. I don't. I wish it would be because it is kind of expensive, but whatever. And that's, that's all I got, you guys. I've gone two hours and I don't have a lot to show for it. But anyways, yeah, so that is all I got. But I don't know. I'm very curious about this pomegranate juice thing. If you guys have ever tried this, let me know. If you've ever tried the pineapple thing, let me know too. I might still go and get the pineapple, but um, with the pineapple, I forget when you eat it. I think you eat it when you ovulate. So I didn't want to buy a pineapple now and then it would go rotten. So anyways, I think I am gonna try that as well. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I did ask the doctor about it yesterday. I don't know if I mentioned this or not. And she's like, it's an old wives tale. Like she doesn't see any, I don't know. She made it seem like she doesn't believe in it. She's like, yeah, I don't really think it's gonna do anything. She's like, but it doesn't help to try. Like there's no, I guess, proof that it does 100% work and there's no proof that it doesn't. So she's like, yeah, I mean, if you wanna try it, why not? So, but she seemed like not a believer in it, but you know what? Why not try it, you know what I mean? So I'm really happy this was on sale. So I'm gonna try this. So let me know if you guys have ever done this pomegranate juice or the pineapple core thing when you were TTC. I'm curious, but at this point, I am willing to try anything to get pregnant. So yeah, I mean, if I can get pregnant before I have to, take Clomid or whatever, um, I mean, hopefully I'm eligible to take it, then, you know, even better, you know? But we'll see. Also, I'm a little nervous. I'm actually going to put the stuff away and then call the doctors because I'm supposed to get my period on Sunday. Now, I usually get my period anyway from cycle day 26 to 28, so like 26 to 28 days, uh, 26 to 29 days between periods. So the 28th day, I guess, would have been Sunday is what it was saying, and, um, I was, I went, when I went to the bathroom, I noticed I was spotting. So I'm kind of nervous because remember, I have to get my blood test done on cycle day three, which means if I do get my full on period today, Friday, cycle day three would be a Sunday and they're closed on Sunday. And she made it seem like it has to be cycle day three and it has to be cycle day 21. And if I miss any of those with the blood work, then we have to wait until next month. So I'm kind of annoyed because I don't want that to be the case and I don't wanna to have to wait a whole other month. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna call right now and see what they say and I'm hoping I can just go in on Monday. And I'm, or I'm hoping it's just spotting and maybe I'll get my full on period tomorrow. Either way, I'm gonna call and see because I don't even know if spotting counts as cycle day one. Like I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know. This whole like women thing, just like stuff like that in general, is just so freaking confusing. Oh, anyways. All right, my battery needs to charge because it's flashing red. I'm gonna go to the bathroom just to see, and then I'm gonna call the doctor. Regular office hours are from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday, and from 8.30 a.m. to 12 noon on Friday. Our lunch hour is from 12 noon to 1.30 daily. If you're calling regarding a routine or non-emergency matter, please call back when our office is open. Again, if you're having a medical issue that cannot wait until the office reopens, please hold for the next available answering service operator. Thank you for calling. So they're only open from eight to 12 on Friday, but it says that they have lunch daily from 12 to 1.30. Oh my God, that would seriously suck if they're closed because then I guess I'll just have to call on Monday. 
that really sucks if I missed this month. Now I'm stressed. Like I'm gonna be thinking about it all weekend. And just when I thought I was getting out of my funk, I feel like this is gonna put me back in it. I mean, to some of you, you might not think it's a big deal. You're like, okay, whatever, you just wait another month. But you know, when you try so long to get pregnant, and it seems like you're finally gonna get tests done and get answers like is something wrong with me you want to know if something's wrong with you right away i want to anyways and that way if there's nothing wrong with me and i can get on this supposed thing you know that's gonna help us you know i don't know i'm just i don't know <laughs> i'm hoping i don't really get my full-on period today and it's just spotting but i'm cramping starting to get cramps so i'm feeling like it is i'm just frustrated because i don't know i mean worst case scenario i wait till next month i mean there's nothing that i can do best case scenario is i can just be seen on monday and like day four cycle day four is okay but she made it pretty adamant it has to be cycle day three cycle day 21 i don't know you guys i don't know I'm so frustrated and I can't even talk to Edom because he's busy at work and it sucks because I I don't really have anyone to talk to about this kind of stuff other than Edom so I don't know I'm just frustrated it is definitely a few hours later and I am starving so I whipped up some dinner tonight yep Alondra's having some dinner as well with me I whipped up um some bean tostadas that was on our like agenda for tonight for dinner so I'll show you all of the yummy goodness so the da sour cream is yep, here yep sour cream ho ho this frijoles see or beans what is that I don't know you don't know radish radish cheese um it's onions cilantro and then lime juice with a little bit of salt and pepper so good marinated and then what is this gorda tostadas yep the tostadas salad salad lettuce lettuce potatoes yep and this is our tomato like salsa puree thing that i had to make and this is what it looks like all Put together. I'm gonna go ahead and eat because honestly, I am so starving. I've only had today, no joke, six of Alondra's tater tots. That's all I've had. And then, well, obviously, I had coffee and then that, that Starbucks Java chip, but that really is not food. So, anyways, I'm gonna eat and yeah, then I need to finish my vlogs. I, it's currently uploading right now, but I put away all of the clothes. I had a ton of clothes to put away, so I did that. I obviously edited, exported, and then I started working because this took me like mm, like a good 45 minutes to kind of chop and whip wait, everything wait, up Mom. and stuff like that. So anyways, um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and eat and clean up my mess in the kitchen and then wait for Adam to come home. He gets off at 7 tonight. And of course today when I really want him to be here, like, you know, right after work, he's working late. So it's just kind of like a bummer. But anyways, it is what it is. Um, yeah. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. It's 10 o'clock, and I'm in my closet, by the way, in case you're wondering, just got out of the shower. Um, Alondra and Edom are sleeping, of course. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, clearly, this is not how I thought the vlog was gonna go today. And, um, yeah, uh, I know maybe for some of you, you guys might not get it, might not get my struggle, might think like, what's the big deal? At least you have one baby, but it's just really hard when you're TTC, trying to conceive, trying to grow your family, and it's not happening. And it's also really hard because, and I'm gonna get through this without crying because I've cried enough today. I should technically right now have a one-year-old and a four-year-old. And I know I probably shouldn't think about that, but Iramcito, I will never forget him. That's my son. He's not here with me physically, but that's my son. And it hurts like hell. It is a pain I hope no one ever has to experience. So it's hard thinking, I should have a one-year-old right now. I should have a little boy running around 
bothering his sister. Just so damn cute. So I'm not gonna be able to control it. So the tears are gonna flow. Um, I'm just being raw and real with you guys. So I hope you guys are understanding and I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just being open and honest with you guys and letting you guys in. I don't want anybody to think that we're trying to get pregnant to replace him because no one will ever replace him. That's not what we're doing. We want to grow our family. So it's just hard, you know, and when you're trying to conceive and trying to grow your family and it's like, yeah, I can still get the testing done. I can get the testing done next month. I totally get it. What's a month? Some of you might be thinking, but when you're trying to conceive and you want another baby so badly, especially after everything that we've been through this past year and a half, another month feels like eternity. So I'm still going to call the doctors on Monday and let them know, um, you know, that I got my period. Technically day three was Sunday. Does that definitely mean I have to wait till next month? Um, I've been researching online and I'm, and from what I'm seeing online, it looks like basically, yes, it has to be like those exact days. So I don't know if maybe they'll still do blood work on cycle day 21 maybe, or I don't know if they can do the blood work, you know, only within that same menstrual cycle. I don't know if they can split it up. I don't know. I'm going to call on Monday and find out. I'm honestly not going to try to think about it because there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do, honestly. And, you know, the good thing is, is that Edom and I can still try. So it's not like, you know, we cannot try. Do you know what I mean? And the doctor didn't tell me I'm not ovulating. We just don't know. Yes, I'm getting, you know, the high, you know, the peak on the ovulation test. But just because you get a peak on the ovulation test doesn't mean your body is actually ovulating. So at least I'm seeing a peak that is good. That means my body's getting prepared to ovulate, but is my body releasing the egg? We don't know. So, um, I mean, I would like to think positive that it is, but it's just because it's been a year and we haven't gotten pregnant. So, you know, so anyways, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't. I'm just emotional. This has just been weighing a lot on me. And I was just so excited yesterday. I was so ready to get this blood work, you know, to get all this done to see is something wrong with me like i don't think so i just think it's taking forever you know um but maybe there is and if there is i want to get it corrected now so i know edom and i will have another baby i know we will right now it just feels like ugh. right now i just feel defeated but i am bound and determined so is edom to make sure we do grow our family and we have another child so whatever way we got to do that so yeah but it's just 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 the whole circumstance sucks you know so anyways and it just I just, it just feels kind of like this would happen to me like that's just kind of how it feels like and I'm not trying to be in a negative place I'm really not and I hate being in a funk and I hate being in a negative place and I don't know I was just so excited yesterday like I really was and I saw all of your guys' comments you guys could tell that I was feeling better um, and so, yeah, this, this, is a, this is a definitely a setback. This is, yeah, a setback for me, but I know I'll push through. I'm just being raw, real, and open with y'all. So anyways, um, tomorrow will be a better day. I'm not going to let this knock me down. I'm not going to let this defeat me because like I said, we can still try to conceive this month and Hey, maybe it's the universe telling me. You're going to get pregnant this month and we don't want you to spend all that money on all those testing. We want to help you save money because we know you're on a budget. <laughs> so maybe the universe is trying to save our bank account, you know, from all these testing. Um, <laughs> just trying to think the positive, you know. So I don't know. And since today is cycle day one for me, I did drink my eight ounces of pomegranate juice and so did Edom. So we drank our pomegranate juice and we'll be drinking it every day until ovulation or you know the peak on the test and then that's when i will transition to eating that pineapple so wouldn't that be so cool though if we did get pregnant this month i don't want to get like crazy excited because you know i don't want to get upset and down when it doesn't happen so or if it doesn't happen but that'd be cool but anyways all right i'm gonna go so 
I hope I didn't make any of you guys feel uncomfortable with my emotional uh, crying and everything. But we all have our days, right? We're allowed to have bad days and just going through the motions of stuff. So anyways, I do appreciate you guys so, so much. I appreciate all of your guys' positivity, positive comments, and y'all mean a lot to me. So anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully no tears. So um, yeah, that's all I got. All right, you guys. Bye, muchachos.